I'm Ginny Blesky and this is my daughter Mia, who's 12. Um, on the 21st of September last year, 2016, she had the first HPV vaccination at school. Um, the following morning she woke up and she couldn't walk um, on her legs, she couldn't wait there, her legs were shaky and she had burning in either side of her spine all the way up her back. Um, we took her to the doctors, they said take her home and give her some paracetamol, put her in the bath, she'll be fine, but she deteriorated by the afternoon, so we recalled the on-call doctor who said just go straight to A&E. We took her straight to A&E and they admitted her for a few days. Um, we've done video diaries right from the first day all the way through up until now, um, and basically within days, about 10 days um, of Mia having the vaccination, she completely lost the use of her legs. Um, a couple of weeks after, she lost the use of her body, her body went floppy. At each stage, we've gone in and out of hospital, so she's been just finished her fifth admission in six months, um, and we've brought her home from that one. Um, so her body went floppy, and then she lost the use of her neck, and then one arm, and then the other arm, and the right arm was the last one to go on it. Um, so for the last 13 weeks now, she's only been able to blink and speak. She can't use any of her limbs. She's incontinent. And it's hard. It's really hard to see your child who was singing and acting and wanting to be in the West End and go to the Brit School and enjoying sleepovers with her friends and doing all the normal 12-year-old stuff that she would do. And we just want her to be well. And we're just looking for somebody to help us find a recovery treatment for her because we just haven't got one. We just don't know what to do. When the rain is blowing in your face And the whole world is on your case I could offer you a warm embrace To make you feel my love 